Hello and welcome to Cupcake Addiction's fondant pinwheel tutorial where I'll be showing you how to make these gorgeous little fondant pinwheels and because I'm uploading these not long before July the 4th in the USA I thought why not make them red, white and blue so you guys can use them for your July 4th parties. However you can make these in absolutely any colour scheme you like. Tools and equipment that we will be using today. I have a square cookie cutter. So mine's just a cheap plastic square cookie cutter. And that one there is two and a half inches or six and a half centimeters. I've got some red and some white fondant. You can choose any two colors you like. A paintbrush. I've got my fondant roller. A regular rolling pin will also do. A little bit of corn flour just to prepare my surface in a shaker there. Some plain tap water. I've got my cupcake and I'm just going to stick it onto a cupcake today. So I'm really showing you how to make the pinwheel. But if you want to make them into cupcakes the same as these, you'll see that I've done a red cupcake liner and I've done a blue flat top frosting style. So I'll leave a link to that frosting style in the description box below. I've got some red and some blue M&Ms and I've got just a regular knife. But let's get started. Firstly, we're just going to take our fondant out and I'm going to start with the white. Whenever I'm using colours like red and white, because they're such bold colours, always start with your lightest colour, particularly if it's white, or else you will end up with little bits of red all through your white. So I'm going to sprinkle down a little bit of that corn flour. I'm going to take my fondant and I'm just going to give it a little knead. You can also use modelling chocolate for this and I do have a great recipe for modelling chocolate on my channel, which I'll also link to in the description box below. Just a little knead just to soften it up, roll it into a ball and I'm just going to press it out in between my hands. That's just going to start off the process so there's not quite as much rolling. Just taking that roller and roll it out nice and thin. If you love this tutorial, don't forget to head over to our channel, My Cupcake Addiction. Hit the subscribe button. We've got so many tutorials over there, I'm sure you'll be able to find something that you like. So I've rolled that out nice and thin and I'm just going to take my square cutter You'll notice I've just sort of moved it around in the fondant there and that's just to give me a really nice clean edged cut. Take that one out of the corn flour. I'm going to flip it so that my good side is now on the mat and the corn floured side is facing me. And then I'm going to give my red a little knead. Just a little knead once again to soften it up, roll it into a ball, squish it out to start the roll process down with just a little bit of corn flour. Don't use too much corn flour when you're using these darker colours because it will actually sort of get into them and stain them and you don't want little flickers of white all through your, your nice vibrant red. Alright, so you'll also notice after I finish rolling, I do just lift it up and put it back down again. That's just to make sure that it's not stuck to the bench anywhere. Take your cookie cutter, push it down, little white back and forward to neaten up the edges again. And you've got your red and your white. So I'm going to take the white, or the red, doesn't really matter, just a little bit of that water, and just give it just a really thin coating of water, but do make sure you get around to all of those edges because they're gonna be the corners of your pinwheel and you want them to stick quite nicely. So taking your red and just place it over the top. Your two won't be the exact same size, so you can see here I've got just a little bit of sort of overlap of the, the white. So I'm just going to push that red out, just so that it meets up with our white. Pick it up and you can just push those edges, just so it's nice and neat. Now from here you want to decide which colour is going to be your more prominent colour. So the colour that you've got facing you, that's going to be the colour that you see the most of. I want red to be mine, just like we've got over here. So I'm going to take my knife, cut the corner, so I'm just putting it in and cutting. I'm not dragging the knife out or anything. And you want to cut it to almost the centre but not quite. So you can see there I'm leaving a little section there. And do make sure that you've done a nice deep cut and that it has gone all the way through to the board. Turn mine around. Alright, so there you've got your four cuts. You should have a square that looks something like this. Take your paintbrush, I'm not even going to put any new water on it because you just need such a small amount. And just pick up your first corner, tuck it over and press it into the centre. You don't need to press too hard here, you don't want to flatten down that nice curl. Second corner, leaving, I guess leaving every second corner. Next one. And the final one. 
And then to finish it off, you could use, if you had some star sprinkles, you could put a lovely blue star in the middle there. That'd be great for, uh, for 4th of July, but I'm just going to use M&Ms just to finish that one off nicely. When you're done with it, just slide a flat knife underneath it and you'll be able to just pick it up. And then I'm just going to pop that on top of my freshly frosted cupcake. So there you have your gorgeous pinwheels for the top of cupcakes made out of fondant and M&Ms. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial as much as I've enjoyed making it for you and as always thank you very much for watching.